Hi, everyone, and welcome to the latest edition of H and H Debriefing. Today is August eighth, two thousand fourteen, and today we wanted to have a quick roundtable about our latest obsession, which is Outlander. And uh, let's get the ball rolling with some thoughts on the first episode that the three of us have now seen because it's streaming on Stars. And uh, we hope everyone gets a chance to check it out soon. Megan, what did you think of the first episode? Well, I thought that um, it was good but really heavy-handed, which I guess actually suits the books a lot. It uh, was very slow-paced in the beginning. And um, one thing that I hadn't noticed before but then thought about more afterwards is that I really didn't like the um, voiceover, Claire's voiceover, because I felt like it was just like like ham-fisted in terms of its expedition. We get it. Forget-me-nots. Okay, right. But what I did like was that it established the fact that, that Claire has a actual legitimate valid choice to make when it comes to choosing. So we didn't just see her life very quickly and then she's transported off. So I liked that, but I felt like it was slow moving, but I felt like that was necessary for the book. So in that way, it was true to the book. I actually have to say I really agreed. I felt that the um, the voiceover was very clunky, and Alan Seppenwald said this in his uh, TV review this morning. It's very clunky, but at the same time, it it does allow it does allow for some explanation of historical context, and like you said, it helps set, set up the choice about going back. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, Lizzie Poteet said in her review for us of the first episode that Claire was going to grow on her, and I've seen a lot of people say that they love Katrina Balfe's performance, but I have to say I think it'll take a while for Claire to grow on me as well. Um, I don't know if that's because I wasn't sure if the British accent was getting to me. I think she's Irish, right? Um, I thought it was great that she was such a strong character, but yeah, I, I wasn't immediately drawn to her like I was to Jamie, and so I think that the first half of the episode was kind of slow going for me, um, and just when I was really starting to get into it, the episode ended. So that's kind of where I'm at. I liked it, and I can't wait to see what happens next, but for me, the first the first half of the episode was uh, a bit slow, and I actually turned it off. I turned it off at the halfway point and didn't get back to it until last night, so. See, for me, I had the exact opposite reaction. You know, I really felt that uh, I really liked Claire. I really liked the expedition that was given. Like you guys have said, I think it's really important to see the choices that she had to make and to really, I think especially showing her life with Frank before she goes back in time, that really showed, okay, here's what she had, and then here is what she had opposite to then immediately seeing Black Jack Randall. He was our first character that we saw once we went back into the past. So I think that exposi exposition was really important. Um, and I actually, I liked Claire. I was fine with Claire. I didn't actually love her in the books. I thought things were very slow in the books, and I actually very much struggled with the books. Um, so, yeah. So for me, watching the show, it was um, it was a lot easier for me to want to go back to the books and and get into that world again. So I'm actually looking forward to rereading the books now that I kind of have this visual image in my head of of what the of what their story looks like. So I'm I'm actually more sold on the series after seeing the show and I I mean of course I can't wait to see more Jamie and Claire because I think what's really gonna make the show unique is uh, is their chemistry because it is off the charts. Like their separately chemistry was amazing. Yeah. Was fantastic from their very first moment they saw each other. It was great. Yeah, separately, I think the characters were meh, although I love Jamie, but together, I think they're going to be explosive and addictive, so I think it's going to be great. And the other thing that I really liked was, a lot of people are commenting on this, but, you know, the cinematography is beautiful, and I really also liked that they would speak what Gaelic, and they wouldn't translate it 
um, I thought that that was really a smart idea because Claire has no idea what they're saying. So unless they're translating for her, she has no idea what's going on. Yeah, um, Ron so Moore actually had said something about that in a panel that I watched, is that he's, you know, made that very specific choice. Yeah. And, uh, Megan, what do you think about the articles we've been seeing in the past couple weeks <laughs> about whether men will watch this show? What are your thoughts on that? Well, my husband, uh, my uh, anecdotal evidence of one, thought it was really <laughs> slow-moving, but he's actually on board for the next time. Oh, um, good. So, you know, I, I've i seen a lot of articles, yeah, like we've covered a lot on the site and such, and I think that um, there's a lot of ingrained sexism going on when it comes to discussing something that has such a strong romantic element. And I think that the show just, I mean, of course, saying it has to be judged on its own merits, everything does, but I feel like it, it's no more or less romantic than many other super, like you say, super great chemistry couples on on screen that may or may not end up together. And if that appeals to women and then it's a hit and men watch and they're, you know, intrigued despite themselves. Although saying that men don't like romance is just stupid. Agreed. Whatever. Whatever. Um, you know, I love Game of Thrones. I like Outlander. We'll see if but I grow to love it. You know, I was going to say, too, though, it's not like Game of Thrones never has a slow episode. I have, oh, I yeah. watch with my roommate Jay, and he'll go through a whole hour and say there wasn't enough violence or nothing happened. Um, so I certainly think that if Game of Thrones can, you know, enthrall so many people and occasionally have the slow-going episode, I think the Outlander could as well. So Yeah, I agree. Great. Well, H&H &H community, we would love to hear what you think. We have been loving the comments that you've been leaving on all of our Outlander coverage, and we're hoping you're enjoying it. Do let us know what else you'd like to talk about, and feel free to leave your comments on the first episode in the comment thread here on this post, which is also announcing on H&H &H that we do have our YouTube channel. So be sure to subscribe and check out our weekly debriefings. Um, Every Friday is the current schedule. So we will see you next week. Have a great weekend. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.